Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the Gastroenterology and Endoscopy Podcast. Today, we're diving deep into a lesser-known but vital topic, gastric antral vascular ectasia, commonly referred to as GAVE, or watermelon stomach. Let's get started. GAVE, or watermelon stomach, was first brought to the medical community's attention in 1953 by Ryder et al. At its core, GAVE is an uncommon but significant cause of gastrointestinal bleeding and anemia. Now, if you were to view GAVE under an endoscope, it presents itself with a very characteristic pattern. This pattern consists mainly of red spots. These can be organized in stripes radiating from the pylorus, giving it the whimsical name watermelon stomach. Alternatively, it can be arranged in a more diffused pattern known as the honeycomb stomach. And, adding another layer to this, there's also a nodular variety where we see multiple enlarged and nodular folds in the antrum. But here's where things get a bit intricate. While Gabe's distinct appearance is recognized, it's often misclassified or even misdiagnosed. Diving into the histology, or the microscopic structure of GAVE, we find dilation of mucosal capillaries. There's also focal thrombosis, fibromuscular hyperplasia of the lamina propria, and a thickened mucosa with tortuous submucosal venous channels. To aid in the histologic diagnosis of GAVE, the medical community developed a scoring system known as the Gilliam score. This score evaluates spindle cell proliferation, looking specifically for signs of either ectasia, fibrin thrombi, or a mix of the two. But the exploration didn't stop there. Payen et al. later expanded on this by including fibrohyalinosis as a third diagnostic criteria for GAVE, thus introducing the GAVE score. Now, one of the baffling aspects of GAVE is its origin. We're still not entirely sure of its exact cause. That said, GAVE is known to associate with a myriad of conditions. This includes portal hypertension, cirrhosis, hypergastronemia, and even metabolic syndrome. There are also links to chronic renal failure, collagen vascular diseases, scleroderma, systemic lupus, erythematosus, and more. An interesting find by our research group showed a correlation with heart failure, specifically with the left ventricular assist device, leading to the development of Heidi syndrome. The key question, of course, is, how do we treat GAVE? The treatment approach seeks to obliterate all the vessels involved. Some of the prominent techniques include argon plasma coagulation, radiofrequency ablation, and endoscopic band ligation. If you're a medical professional or simply someone eager to delve deeper, I highly recommend visiting endocollab.com. They have fantastic quick tip videos on treating GAVE with APC, RFA, and endoscopic band ligation. That wraps up our deep dive into gastric antral vascular ectasia or watermelon stomach. Join us next time for more intriguing insights from the medical world. Until then, stay curious and take care.